In court, Geiger demonstrated how she says she confronted the person. I have, have my gun pointed, and I'm saying, let me see your hands, let me see your hands. What were you focused on? Him. Why did you fire? So I was scared. <laughs> Whoever was inside my apartment was going to kill me. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I have to live with that every single day. I'm an off-duty officer. I thought I was in my apartment, and I shot a guy thinking that he was thinking it was my apartment. Geiger's 911 call introduced as critical evidence. Okay, we have help on the way. I know, but uh -huh. I'm, I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> I thought it was my apartment. The Dallas County DA's goal, pointing out contradictions in Geiger's behavior beginning with why she went into the apartment despite hearing noise inside. You could have called for help on your radio, and you could have had the cavalry there in two minutes. I could have. You could have had SWAT mobilized. It, they could have. And had you done any one of those things, Mr. Jean would probably be alive today. Right? Yes, sir. Defense I forgive you. And I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. And I don't think anyone could say it. Again, I'm speaking for myself, not even bad for my family. But I love you just like anyone else. And... I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see, I, I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't going to ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you. Because I know that's what that's exactly what both of them would want you to do. And the best would be give your life to Christ. That's, I'm not going to say anything else. I think giving your life to Christ would be the best thing that both of them would want you to do. Again, I love you as a person. And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can, can I give her a hug, please? Please? Yes. 